This is a demonstration of EMC's Virtual Storage Integrator version 5 along with the new Access Control Utility, demonstrated at VMworld 2011 and done on an EMC VNX storage subsystem. The idea of the Virtual Storage Integrator is to make provisioning simple and easy for VMware admins. But one uh, challenge that's uh, emerged is that obviously there needs to be controlled access control models um, for the storage teams. So we've developed this uh, EMC Unified Access Control Utility, which uh, joins the Symmetrix uh, Pool Manager utilities to provide end-to-end -end access controls for EMC storage. This idea of comprehensive access controls that are so simple and easy is important for delegation to work properly. So here what we've got is we've got the storage admin who are using the new access uh, uh, profile utility to create a, a new profile for uh, uh, delegated access for a VMware admin. You can see here that you could select multiple storage subsystems. Um, so if you had uh, multiple VNX arrays, you could do it here. Again, if you had VNX arrays, uh, VNXE arrays, if you had um, uh, VMAX arrays, you could also use uh, Storage Pool Manager. So uh, let's identify here that we've got a VNX that we'd like to add. Uh, when we go and we hit Next, we're going to uh, identify whether we'd like to give access for both block VMFS use cases as well as NFS uh, use cases as the VNX is a unified storage subsystem. And then you can say, uh, do I want to give the VMware admins access to the entire array to uh, just to have visibility or to have uh, the ability to provision within a subset of resources that you can identify. So here you can see, for example, that we're selecting, that we're uh, enabling them to have access uh, for one particular storage pool, the VNX Gold Fast or Fully Automated Storage Tiering Pool. Um, and uh, that is the storage subsystem that we're uh, enabling. And uh, this uh, simple process uh, creates a file which can then be exported and provided to the VMware admin, which is what we'll do now. We'll take this access profile and uh, we'll export the file and we'll export the file and save it in a location where we'll share it with the VMware team for the second part of this demonstration. This idea of comprehensive access controls that are still simple and easy is very important. More customers choose EMC, VNX, VMAX, and other EMC storage platforms with VMware than anyone else. And we're now on version 5 of our vSphere plugins. We've gotten lots of feedback from customers that say once they're uh, of a sufficient size where there is a distinct storage and VMware team, the idea of being able to uh, provide access controls, which we now do via this access utility as well as storage pool manager, um, is very important to be able to get the benefits of delegated administration. So now we're the VMware admin and you can see that they've imported the file and the file is also encrypted. This is very important because uh, in previous versions and, and this is how it's done with uh, other st storage plugins, you have to provide the credentials to the storage subsystem which is obviously a big security problem. Um, so as uh, we open the VSI plugin version 5 here, uh, the latest version, we can see that you can add either the system credentials if you want to do it the old way or if you were the combined VMware and storage admin. But what we're going to do here is obviously import uh, the access profile. They provide the pass per phrase to uh, decrypt the content which is provided by the storage team. And you can see that the storage uh, array is now added. Notice below you could add connection brokers for things like VMware View um, as well as other things. So now what we'll do is we'll do a common task. We'll go in and we'll say uh, we'll use the uh, VSI plugin to provision storage. VSI is a simple and easy unified plugin. So here you can see you can provision both VMFS and uh, NFS. In fact, you can provision RDMs too if you'd like. Um, and you can do that across uh, the entirety of EMC's st uh, storage portfolio. Notice that the only array that was listed there and the only storage pool that is listed is the one that the vSphere administrator has got uh, delegated uh, access controls to. You can see here that uh, that pool is a fully automated storage tiering pool, the mixed drive types and a total of about 15 terabytes of capacity. And notice that VSI, the fifth generation, supports vSphere 5, so we can select VMFS 5 as the provisioning um, uh, model in the data store type. Uh, here we're going to give it a name. Um, we'll select a, a LUN ID, which is, has to be a unique uh, number on the storage subsystem, so um, you can let the one come up that's selected by default, or you can identify one if you'd like. And then uh, you give it a capacity. Um, if you hit the advanced tabs, there's lots of settings, but look at how simple it's been to uh, provision an 8 terabyte thin data store using uh, the access control utility and uh, the VSI5 plugin.
So uh, now the plugin will actually go and actually provision the backend storage and present it to every host in the cluster. And here you can see the data store has been presented. Uh, of course, uh, since the EMC VNX array, it has full support for VAI, um, as well as for VASA and, and storage IO control and those sorts of things. So there you have it. The EMC Access Control Utility joins the Symmetric Storage Pool Manager to provide end-to-end -end simple and easy access control models so that you can delegate provisioning to the VMware uh, administrator. And VSI version 5, the fifth generation of EMC's unified storage plugin for vSphere, uh, has full support for not only uh, the access control utility, but also for all uh, vSphere 5 features and functions. Thanks very much, and hopefully this is useful for our EMC and VMware joint customers.